Welcome back to Unusual Facts. And look, with all this craziness going on in the world, it's almost guaranteed at some point somebody may hit a nuke button and then what do you know we may have the zombie apocalypse so unusual facts presents to you 12 life hacks to help you survive the zombie apocalypse and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and make sure you like this video if we help you run away from the zombies oh lord and the 12th hack is making planters out of toilet paper rolls. In case of a zombie apocalypse, being able to walk down to the grocery store and pick up a few heads of lettuce or a bag of baby carrots is totally out the window as far as a possibility, which means that it'll be a good idea to start planting and growing your own food. Unfortunately, without stores or other modern conveniences, being able to just buy a planter or a pot to put your seeds in and grow yourself a little garden is frankly not happening. Instead, use recycled toilet paper rolls or using paper towel rolls that are cut in half and put them inside of a shoe box or other small storage box as a makeshift planter to get your seeds going and ready to be planted to the ground as an eco-friendly zombie apocalypse friendly solution. Number 11 use soda tabs for fishing hooks. Unfortunately, after the zombie apocalypse hits, you won't just be able to go out to the sporting goods store to buy a pack of fishing hooks when you want to go fishing and catch yourself some dinner. Like a lot of other parts of your life, you're going to have to learn to be a little bit more creative to replace things that you would have brought in stores. Soda cans can be used for lanterns with a candle inside of them. Just cut a hole in the side and the annoying little tabs on top that you always break your nails trying to open can actually be cut and sharpened to make fishing hooks. Smart, right? Instead of spending time trying to spear the fish so that you don't starve, just search the recycling centers and find yourself some of these and you'll be ready to fish in no time. Number 10. Turn a bottle into a spoon. Another awesome use for soda containers, plastic bottles can be cut and the bottoms can be used to make spoons. Although you should be careful using them because the edges might be sharp after cutting, this is an excellent hack if you don't have silverware, which you probably won't be in the zombie apocalypse. So this is another thing you'll need to start learning to make your own and get creative solutions to. Maybe practice on a rainy day? The bottles can also be used to transport things or fill with water to make huge bricks of ice to keep things cold. Who knew soda bottles were so versatile? Once the zombies come, make sure you're hitting up all the recycling bins around so you can get enough supplies to make yourself the necessities for survival. Number 9. Flatten your ground beef before freezing. If you're somewhere cold or have a freezer that runs off a generator and you have meat that you need to freeze, the best way to save space is by using a rolling pin or something else to flatten it inside the plastic bags. This means it'll be thinner and thaw out faster, so you won't have to have it sitting out for long periods of time waiting for it to thaw while the outsides are all ready and the inside is still like a frozen solid brick. This tip is even great if you're not in the zombie apocalypse and you can help maximize the storage in your current freezer. Come on, we all know thawing meat when you're starving can actually be a disaster. Half is soft while the center is rock hard. Skip the pain and just roll it out, folks. Number 8. Use tinfoil when you have the wrong size batteries. Okay, now I'll admit that this one's probably not so useful in the zombie apocalypse unless you're having something like a radio or a set of walkie talkies that run on batteries. But this is still really cool to know. How have we not thought of this before? Have you ever had something that needed AA batteries right away, but you only had AAA and you weren't going to be able to get the right size for a while? Well, problem solved. Just take some tinfoil, wad it up, and stick it in the positive end where it connects to your device, and voila! I've never actually tried this, but the next time I can't find the right size batteries, I know I'll immediately think of this and run home to get some tinfoil. Number 7. Use cotton balls to make tinder. Anyone who's ever been camping or gotten a fire going knows that one thing you really need for it to thrive is to have some kind of tinder to get it started, so it'll burn better. If you want to make some tinder to use instead of trying to gather up tiny pieces of wood or paper, just cover some cotton balls in petroleum jelly, like Vaseline, and it'll work just as well. If you put a bunch into a mold and then pour some kind of wax over them, you can pop them out of the mold for easier storage. Counting them will be simple too, and starting a fire will be more simple than you anticipated. You'll be able to stay warm and cook all your food in no time. Number 6. 
Know your limits. The most important key to surviving any situation with or without zombies is to know your limits and be able to prioritize what you need the most. Although these tips and tricks can be useful, they won't matter if you're out there without shelter or without enough food and water to survive. What good is knowing how to start a fire with cotton balls or carry around your spices in tiny containers if you don't have somewhere to sleep at night, especially when you're out there in the elements and get sick or attacked by zombies? The most important thing you need to learn to be able to survive the zombie apocalypse is something that can't be taught by lists of life hacks. It's the ability to prioritize the most important parts of your survival and adapt. Number 5 Use duct tape for stubborn jar lids. In the case of a zombie apocalypse, you're not going to want to waste a lot of time trying to struggle with stubborn jar lids when you're making food. Time will be important, as will food, and any time or energy that you unnecessarily waste fumbling around, getting blisters on your hands, and trying to get a jar lid to come off will be time and energy that could have gone into something else. So that just makes this tip awesome. Just put some tape on a jar and use it for extra leverage and force to help you twist the lid. It's actually brilliant. The best part of this one is that it's also applicable in everyday life with or without zombies. Never fuss around with a stuck lid on a jar of pasta sauce again as long as you have a roll of duct tape nearby. And who doesn't have duct tape laying around? Number 4. Only take one trip to the water source. This is another one that reminds you that if the zombies come, wasting energy is a terrible idea. Imagine all the energy that you'd be wasting carrying one or two jugs of water at a time back and forth from the river to your camp. Not to mention the fact that you'd be putting yourself at serious risk of being attacked by going out so many times and wandering around in the open where you could be easily attacked. No thank you. That's why this life hack is absolutely genius and whoever thought of it is a lifesaver. Seriously. All you need is a long stick of some sort, like a cane, a hockey stick, or something similar that you can slide through the handles of your water jugs. That way, you can carry several back with you at once instead of just one or two. Number 3. Use crayons as makeshift candles. This is a tip that's been around for a long time regarding situations in which you're in a power outage, a zombie apocalypse, or anything else that will require you to have an emergency backup source of lighting. Since candles are just made of wax, if you can get them caught on fire, they can burn and give you a small source of light, like a candle would for a period of time. Odds are the candles won't be a hot commodity in the zombie apocalypse, so you should be able to find a pack of them somewhere. Whether it's your own home or store, find that classic pack of 24 Crayola crayons and light those babies on fire. And it's not like you're going to care doing an apocalypse, but think about the cool design it will make when the wax drips on the surface. Number 2. Always know the freshness of your eggs. This tip has saved me multiple times, even in normal life without zombies. Basically, if you have eggs and want to know how old they are or if they're safe to eat, take a big glass, jar, or bowl of water and drop the eggs in. If they land on their side at the bottom of the bowl, they're fresh and you're good to go. Whereas, if they sit up on their end a tiny bit, they're around a week old. If they sit up on their end completely, they're getting a few weeks old and you should probably eat them immediately. If they flow all the way to the top, they're very old and you shouldn't eat them. Since wasting food in the zombie apocalypse would be a huge deal, along with trying not to eat anything that's gone bad since any illness could be catastrophic, this tip could be a lifesaver in the future. Plus, it's helpful now if you don't remember when you bought that carton of eggs in the back of your refrigerator. And number one. Use Tic Tac containers for spices. This tip about storing your spices in recycled Tic Tac containers is a great one, especially if you're big on going camping, and certainly being an excellent idea for the future with the zombie apocalypse. I know, in the future if the zombies come, your spice collection will probably be the least of your worries, but putting them into smaller containers like this makes it easier to store and carry them when you're traveling. That makes this a great tip when you're camping and have limited space in your backpack but don't want to miss out on delicious food over the campfire and the same principle can be applied when you're face to face with the undead and need to maximize your space and minimize what you're carrying around. Like I said, you're probably not going to do this during an apocalypse, so why not start preparing now?
Thank you for watching our video and please subscribe to Unusual Facts and hit the notification button so you can never miss any video from us. Thank you.